Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial. In the last episode, we already learned about how to update a conducting SQLite database. In this video, here I am going to demonstrate how to delete a row from SQLite database. So for delete a row from SQLite database, the first step we have to define a user-defined method inside SQLite Open Helper class. So in this project, we have a subclass of that one called uh, Conduct DB Helper. So now here I am going to create a user-defined method for deleting a particular row from SQLite database. So here I name the method as delete conduct. Uh, for this method, we need two parameters id of the conduct second one an object of sqlite database so first we have to specify the condition so for specifying condition here i am going to create a string variable called a selection now specify the condition here we need to delete a particular conduct based on the conduct id so get the conduct id from the conduct class so we have to remove a conduct corresponding to this parameter so this is our condition so in this statement here i put the selection and selection argument in a single statement so now we can delete the conduct so for delete the conduct, you, you need to call a method called to delete on the SQLite database object. So database, uh, call the method called to delete. First parameter is the table name. Uh, second parameter is the condition. So here we specify the condition in a variable called a selection and the last parameter is the condition argument selection argument so here we already specify the selection argument within the condition itself so we can simply personal for it so this method remove a particular conduct from the SQLite database so now for performing the delete operation here I am going to create a new fragment. Uh, here I name it as delete conduct fragment. Uh, now for performing the delete operation we need to add some user interface. So here I add the needed user interface for the fragment. Uh, here is an edit text uh, that accept the user contact ID uh, with ID txt delete ID. And here is the button for performing the delete operation with ID delete contact bn. Okay. So now the now open the home fragment. So here we have a button called the bn delete. We need to initialize that button. So b and delete equal to view dot find view by id uh, b and delete contact. Now register the click listener for the button. So b and delete dot set on click listener into this. Now handle the click events. So specify the case. So if it is bn delete conduct, in that case we pass the integer 3 to the main activity. Now open main activity and handle the condition. So now we have the third condition. If it is integer 3, in that case we need to start the new fragment, delete fragment. Uh, delete conduct fragment 
okay now open delete conduct fragment so here I'll create some variables first create an edit text now we need some variables for button Okay, now we can initialize these variables for that we need the view object so create the view class object here so now we can return that view object so by using that view object we can initialize the edit text and button so first initialize edit text ID for the edit text txt delete ID now we can initialize the button so button delete uh, delete contact BM that is the ID of the button uh, now we can create the click listeners for the button so button delete dot Set on click listener. So now here I'm going to create a separate method for performing the database delete operation. So create a method delete contact. So first we have to create an object of the contact DB helper. pass the context to the constructor of that class now create an object of SQLite database as I told you in the last episode always perform the database read write or delete operation on a separate background th thread so here I perform the delete operation on main thread because this video is just only for the training purpose so now we can get the writable database so conduct db helper dot uh, get a writable database uh, now we can get the conduct id so create a variable yeah, actually the conduct id is an integer so we can get it as, get it as an integer so integer dot percent id dot get the text to string okay so now we can perform the delete operation so conduct db helper dot uh, delete conduct first parameter is id second parameter is the sqlite uh, database object so after performing the database operation we can close the database connection now we can reset the id field Now we can display a message to the user. Contact removed successfully. And finally, we can call that method from the button click listener. Okay, so now we can test our application. So now run the application. Now the application available on this virtual device. So first we can view the contacts. So now the database contains four contacts. Now here I am going to delete contact one by one. First here I am going to delete a contact with ID 121. So now try to delete that contact 121 and delete it. Sorry, here I click the button two times, that's why. So now we can view the contact. See here you can see that that particular contact is removed from the database. 
So now try to remove the contact with ID 123. 123. Delete it. Now we can view the contact. It is removed. So this is how we remove a particular row from SQLite database. I hope you understand all the SQLite database concepts. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.